Whoa, 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 whoa. Welcome to my 23rd Blu-ray and DVD movie update. Here we go again. I have 37 titles to show you, most of which are probably at least half are from Christmas. I'll say on the bottom of the screen if it's a Christmas present or not, and yeah, let's just get started. First up on my list is 2010, Moby Dick. Now, I heard on Wikipedia that they were going to make a Mega Shark vs. Moby Dick, and In the Heart of the Sea just came out, so I'm like, you know what, I'm going to pick this up. Probably the best time to. Then I have another Asylum movie next up here, is Attila on Blu-ray. This was, I believe, written by the, yep, it was written by the guy who directed all the Sharknado movies, Anthony C. Ferrante. Cool looking movie, I saw the trailer a while ago, it looked awesome. Next up I have the first Arrow release I have in this collection so far, I have one other one from Arrow called Pieces, which is a great slasher film, but that's not in this Blu-ray and DVD update because that was a while back I got to that. But this one here is Blood Rage, the Thanksgiving slasher. It doesn't really have a lot to do with Thanksgiving. I saw it a couple nights ago. It was really gory and a really good movie. A lot of psychological problems with the mother. It's really worked well in the movie. Arrow does a great job with the releases, as always. You get the slipcase, and this is a three-disc set, so it's really awesome to have. It's about $25 on Amazon right now. I don't think it's going to go down in price, because it's been on there for a while, and I haven't seen it go down in price, so I had to pick it up. I had the extra money. I said, why not? Next up, I've heard really good things about this movie, and that is Jaws. And uh, it's like Jaws, I think, but it's with a giant boar. I cannot stress the fact enough that I love killer pig films. I am extremely excited to see Boar, which is directed by the guy who did Charlie's Farm, which I have on order, but I haven't gotten in yet, and I wanted to do this video for New Year's, so here's Chaws. Next up, I have been listening to this soundtrack to this movie for a while, and I finally got the Blu-ray. haven't watched it yet, but I've heard nothing but awesome things about it, and that is Stephen King's Christine. Directed by John Carpenter. I used to never like Killer Car movies, but then I saw the movie called Trucks, which is like a remake of Maximum Overdrive. It looks like it's going to be an awesome 80s spectacle. The trailer is awesome, too. Here I have another Arrow release called Contamination. This looks extremely awesome. I watched the trailer, and for Italian films, I don't really watch the trailers fully. I'm like, oh, this looks pretty interesting. Skip a little bit, and then the trailer's over, because the trailers are usually three minutes or four minutes long. But I stuck through the whole trailer of this, and I'm like, this looks just totally awesome. And it's a Blu-ray and DVD combo pack with, look at all these special features. All right there. Look at that. That's a lot. Next up, I've actually reviewed to these two movies. They're awesome. Bad, but awesome. Deadly Prey and Deadliest Prey. Two classics of the genre. Bad classics, but they're so bad, they're good. Here we have a movie I've heard mixed things about. It's based off a video game. I've heard it's one of the better video game adaptions to a film, so I'm really interested in checking it out, but it's almost two hours long, so I'll have to take my time with it because it's going to be a long watch, and if it doesn't keep my interest, then I might turn it off and watch something else, but I've heard decent things, so it might not be that bad. Dead Rising Watchtower. This... Looks like an awesome zombie movie by the trailers. I've heard decent reviews, like I've said before. Next up, I have a film that stars Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone. And I went to Walmart and got this. I was going to get the DVD for 7 bucks. I found the Blu-ray and DVD combo pack for seven fifty. So I'm like, yeah, I'm getting the Blu-ray and DVD combo pack for Escape Plan. This looks pretty awesome. It's about two people trying to escape a prison that's supposedly unescapable. And they set up Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger as an inmate or something. Looks really cool. Next up, I have Army of Darkness. Why this is in the E section? Because it is part of the Evil Dead franchise. And this is the three disc set from Scream Factory. It has all the discs. Awesome. With all the posters from the movie. The original poster and this custom one, which keeps on slipping off, which I'm kind of upset about, because I love this. I have so many editions of Evil Dead 2, 3, and the first. I only have one edition of the remake. They're all good, in my opinion. Next up, I just got done watching this with my mother, and we loved it. That was The Final Girls. Great horror comedy homage to the 80s. It is such a fun movie. I have to review it soon because it is just one of those movies I have been waiting to see. And I picked up the Blu-ray for like 20 bucks off of Amazon. It's a steep price, but it's worth it because the Blu-ray looks awesome. And very nice. Now I got to this for Christmas and I was kind of upset. Not terribly, but because it didn't have a slipcase. But I'm going to have to make do with it because I've been waiting to get this for a while. And that is the Screen Factory release of The Fall. Now, The Fog is a great film. John Carpenter kind of dismisses it, but 
but still a fun time. Really creepy, really disturbing, maybe not a fun time, but still worth a watch. Next up, I had this movie already. It was in my last Blu-ray and DVD movie update. It was called Extinction Predator X. But I got this version because the cover is way more awesome. And I found it at Walmart for a good price, and I was waiting to find this for years. So I said, you know what, I'll get it again. But this cover is way more better. Way more better. Okay. And that is Jurassic Predator. This just was a decent movie. It wasn't the best, but it had the decent effects. And... It came out in a time where CGI was just starting to get a little better, but a little worse. It was like in the 2009 to 2012 era. But it's still a great film to watch if you like the dinosaurs and swamp kind of plot, which not many movies have, so let's just move along. Next up, I got this, but I didn't get Insidious Chapter 3 yet. Anyways, I got this because I like the original, and I actually watched this a couple times, but every fucking time I watch this movie, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to turn on the original. This isn't the best, but I got it because I'm a completionist, and I love the Poltergeist movies, so I got the Poltergeist remake on Blu-ray, the extended cut. I noticed some scenes that weren't in theaters, but they weren't really that great. It's not a really great movie. I've reviewed it already and gave it like a 2.5 out of 5. I stick with that rating. It's decent, but it's not the best Poltergeist movie out there, but it's also not the worst. Poltergeist 3 is the worst. Now, I wish they had the first one on Blu-ray, but I only found the second one on Blu-ray. It's a Uwe Boll film. Fuck that guy. Anyways, it's one of his better films, along with the first, and that is Rampage, what is it? Capital Punishment. On the Blu-ray and his DVD combo pack. I have seen parts of the first one. I've never seen anything about the second one. But I found this for like 7 bucks at Walmart. Had to pick it up. Next up, I got this for like 20 something dollars on Amazon. <clears throat> it's a hard to find movie. And I'm glad I got this edition. And that is Rare Exports A Christmas Tale. The Blu-ray and DVD combo pack. Now when I got this, it was all like bent out of shape. Like look at that. It's all, you can't really tell, but it's bent. But still, it's... I'm glad to have it. It's an awesome looking Blu-ray and DVD combo pack. Next up I got Robocop, the remake. I have heard shit things about this, but I decided to pick it up because I'm a completionist, as, as I said before. And it's PG-13, like Robocop 3. I've seen most of the first Robocop, but never the second or third. I'm gonna have to check this out, though. Let's see for myself. Here we have The Roost. This is a movie about... I think I read something on the back right here. It said it's about bats in a barn, and that when they bite their prey or something, they become zombies. It sounds really cool. <clears throat> Haven't seen it. It's an older movie from, like, what year? 2005. Definitely going to give it a watch. I love killer bat movies. Next up, I got another Christmas horror movie. That is Saint on the Blu-ray. Uh, this is also called Saint. I don't know what country it's from, but I've heard really decent and shit things about it. I have seen clips. It was really gory from what I saw. Next up, I've heard great things, and I've heard shit things about this movie. It stars Jamie Kennedy from Scream and Tremors 5, and that is The Sand. <clears throat> I think this looks pretty awesome, like a remake of Blood Beach. And I want to review it soon. I haven't seen it, but I will see it as soon as possible, along with Blood Beach. Next up, I have the Blu-ray and DVD combo pack from Scream Factory, double feature, Scanners 2 and Scanners 3. Now, I've seen the first Scanners, and I love it. Scanners 2 and 3, I've heard of shit's things about, but I'm going to have to check them out regardless, because I love Scanners the first. It's a really interesting, really weird kind of movie. From Next up, I got Shark Killer. Now, Shark Killer is a movie I did a trailer reaction and review for, and they flagged me for it, so they took it right down. And I was like, wow, now i got a strike on my channel. It went away. It's been a while, but... I'm afraid to review this because I'm afraid, oh, he's talking about it. Let's give him a flag and a copyright strike. It looks pretty awesome, I can't lie. Now I have Shark Lake, which I watched yesterday. And it stars Dolphin Lundgren. Or Dolph Lundridge. Sorry, Dolph Lundridge. It was pretty good. It was a decent shark flick with some heartwarming elements and some mild action. But it had some cool shark deaths and the sharks don't look terrible like I thought they would when I saw the trailer. Here I have the Slumber Party Massacre Trilogy. From Roger Corman. I've heard things about the first was good, third was decent, second was shit. I don't know, haven't seen it. Any of them, actually. But I'm gonna have to watch them. I watched this movie and I'm kind of scared that I did because it's so bonkers and bizarre and that is Street Trash. My god, Street Trash, what a movie. Uh, they gave you this little thing with the Tenafly Viper logo on it where you can put it on your own drink. But I'm keeping it. It's on my wall right next to me. And uh, this was a fun but disgusting and bizarro movie.
Here I have the Tales from the Crypt trilogy, they call it. But the first one is really the only good one I've heard. And I, only, I have the book for the first one. I have to review that after I read it. But that is Tales from the Crypt Demon Knight. I have the book on this one. Then there's Tales from the Crypt Bordello of Blood. These are two Scream Factory releases. And then I have Ritual on the DVD that's really crappy from Dimension, I believe. Yeah. Next up, I already have Terminator 4 and 5. Now I have Terminator 1, 2, and 3. Blu-ray and DVD combo pack. I like Terminator. I love the first. I love the second. I kind of like the third. I haven't seen the fourth or the fifth. We'll have to give them another watch sometime and then review them. Well, I will. Here I have Uncle Sam. This movie is from the director of Maniac Cop and Maniac. And I love this story of a zombie president attacking people. He also directed Maniac Cop 2 and 3. And he does a great job with its effects and storytelling. So I can't wait to watch this movie. Here I have a killer polar bear movie. I've been on a buying of bear movies rampage, I guess. That is called Unnatural. Unnatural is a great killer bear movie. Now, I'm only on season two of this series, but I want to start catching up, so I had to get this. This is season four of The Walking Dead and season five of The Walking Dead on Blu-ray. I have all the other ones on Blu-ray, so I had to ask for these for Christmas, and I got them. Next up, I have Wolvesbane. I have Nancy Butler. That's all I really know about this movie. She was in the Lake Placid movies. And last, but not least, I have a Blu-ray from Blue Underground that is pretty pricey, but I got it for Christmas, and I'm extremely happy that I did. And that is Zombie. I have this on a crappy DVD. I can't wait to check it out on Blu-ray with all these awesome special features. So that's it. That is my new Blu-ray and DVD update. Thanks to all my family members who got me presents. I'm really excited with all my gifts, and I'm going to watch them all. Well, I am Brian Gatto, host of Horror Show Movie Reviews. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below, and to leave comments, and subscribe.